My name is Curtis Hutnauer. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Biostatistics at the Harvard School of Public Health. And I work on the human microbiome, which is the collection of microbes, um, single-celled organisms like bacteria, viruses, um, fungi, and, and many other organisms that we carry in and on our bodies. There are about 10 times as many microbial cells in our body as, as human cells. Our skin, our mouth, um, our airways, Every exposed surface in the body um, carries its own naturally occurring microbial community, which typically has evolved with us to promote health and, and protect the human body in that particular environment. Our group helped with one of the main consortium analysis efforts in order to interpret these sequences as a map of what our normal microbial variation is. So this really gives us a definition of the boundaries for over a dozen different microbial habitats associated with the human body of what kinds of microbial communities can be normal in health. The microbes associated with our bodies give us another way to potentially assess lifelong risk of disease or immediate risk of disease outcome. What we're learning right now is how better to use our microbes to predict the risk of um, autoimmune or inflammatory disease onset, IBD, diabetes, diseases in that family, and how to predict the risk of their outcome. So for example, the onset of a Crohn's disease flare using not our DNA, not our own genes, but our microbes and their genes and biological activity. One of the reasons or one of the areas why a lot of people in this field are very interested and very motivated about the topic right now is that the microbiome is part of our environment that might help to explain the last 50 years or so very rapid increase in chronic non-genetic disease. If environmental exposures are part of what's causing this increase in obesity, in diabetes, and other chronic conditions, and that's something that is affecting our microbes in a way that can be treated or prevented or used to improve health, that's a huge motivation and something that, that needs to be worked on now as quickly as possible in order to help ameliorate the rise in chronic disease and obesity. It's, it's a very exciting time now to be working on both computational biology and, and DNA sequence analysis generally, and the microbiome in particular. These are both very new areas that are changing rapidly. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the Harvard School of Public Health, our students, our group, and, and others um, carry out research in the area.